Yo, what is going on guys? Jakey here. So Cash has been updated and I will be making my Essential Smoke video for Cash uh, on the updated version for you guys. So uh, yeah, let's get right into it. So a lot of the smokes are still the same. Uh, we're going to start with the Z smoke here. All you want to do is aim right here uh, at the top of this window. And then we're going to find the third line and we're going to run. And as soon as we hit the start of the, of the line here, we're going to do a jump throw. It's very important that you have a jump throw bind. So, just like that. And there you go, there's the Z smoke. Next smoke is the crisscross smokes for mid. Uh, you're gonna need two people to throw this, obviously. So, for the left side, we're gonna go up to the right side of this doorway and then aim right here, about three quarters of the way. And then just left click. Boom. And then for the right side, just go to the other side of the doorway and aim three quarters of the way on this side. As you can see, there is the crisscross smokes. Also guys, I've gotten a lot of questions on how I get this config, like unlimited time, and you can see the trajectory of your nades. I will leave a video um, link in the description that I made explaining how to get this exact config for you guys to practice nades in offline mode. Also, I just want to point out these nades do work on both 64 tick and 128 tick, so no need to worry about that. Alright guys, so cross smoke on A is pretty much still the same. All you want to do is aim at the top left quadrant of this box right here, so right here, and then do a run throw. There you guys go, it'll smoke it off perfectly, just like that. Okay, here's how to smoke B main so that you can cross into checkers. All you want to do is come up to the left side of this doorway into this wooden little pole and then find the fifth window split. So one, two, three, four, five. Right here, you're going to go up until you hit this metal bar and then do a very small run throw. Just like that. And there you guys go. You can cross now into checker safely. All right, guys, next smoke is going to be for tree room from sunroom. So all you want to do is hop up on this right here and you want to make sure that the windows are popped. So I already popped the windows but you want to make sure that they're popped or else this will be inconsistent. And then you want to aim at this dot right here on the wall. So you can see there's like four dots. You just want to find this one and then do a simple left click. And there you go. That'll smoke tree. Also guys, you can also throw a molly for like headshot default area from this uh, location. You just aim at this dot and there you go. That'll molly mostly default and a little bit of headshot. Alright guys, here's another way of smoking tree. Uh, this is the more inconsistent way of doing it. I always recommend doing it uh, that way if possible, but if you guys can't do it that way and you want to do a run, run and smoke type of style, then all you have to do is line up so that the doorway right here just disappears. And then you want to find yourself lined up with this uh, left side of this. I don't know what this is really, but you want to run, and throw it off the wall. And there you go. That's how you smoke tree on the go. It's pretty bad smoke because it's very shallow. They can just run through it, but that's how you do it. You can also smoke heaven from here too, um, but it's a little bit different. So instead of aiming here, you want to aim, find the doorway. So the right side of this doorway and then aim up. Um, and then like right around, right around here, you just want to throw it. And there you go. You get that heaven smoke again, pretty bad heaven smoke. I would just recommend mollying it instead. But if you guys want to do that, you can do that as well. All right, next smoke is gonna be for A main. Uh, as a CT player, all you wanna do is walk up to the very edge of this truck right here and then aim in between the hammer and the sickle. So right about here. And there you go, there's a perfect A main smoke. All right guys, here's another smoke for A main from Fence. So let's say you're playing A and your teammate threw the initial smoke for A main and the smoke is now fading and you want to re-smoke it without exposing yourself and you're playing fence, all you need to do is put yourself into this corner right here and aim at this area on the forklift, so right here. 
and you just kind of got to memorize this spot right here. It's not too difficult to memorize, but after that, you want to do a jump throw. And it's very important that you have a jump throw bind for this to make it consistent. Um, so yeah, just do a jump throw. As you can see, that will land and perfectly re-smoke a main. All right, guys, here's how to smoke mid garage from Z. Um, so on new cache, they added this window in Z, which makes it very, very convenient uh, and fast to smoke mid garage as a CT player. So all you need to do is make sure you're on the left side of the of the doorway here. So this is like the middle. Just make sure you're on the left side when you're running up and you want to run up and stop when you're right between the doorway. So right here on this grill is where you want to stop. So it doesn't have to be too perfect. But after that, you want to aim on the left side of this window and in the middle. So right here and then just left click. And there you guys go. Perfect smoke for mid garage. All right, here's a little bonus for you guys. If you guys want a molly boost as well, uh, all you have to do is run up to the sandbags right here and then uh, find the boost and go up until your crosshair is horizontal with the corner of the hut right here. So right around here and then just left click. And there you guys go. There's a molly for boost. Alright guys, here's some B main smokes from heaven that you can throw. Um, so the first one is going to be a deep smoke. You want to line up with the right side of this doorway right here. And you're going to be aiming. So you see this lamp and then this like little thing right here. You want to aim in between. And then you want to do a run throw. This is for the deep smoke. There you guys go. It smokes it like that. And then if you guys want a shallow smoke. You want to aim right here at this uh, the corner of this sign. Again, you run, line up on the right side of the doorway and then aim at the corner of the sign and just left click. And there you guys go. There's a shallow smoke. All right, guys, here's how to throw a retake smoke uh, to smoke checkers from heaven as a CT. So all you want to do is come up to the stairs right here. Find this line next to the boxes, crouch down and make sure that you stay crouched. So once you're lined up and you're crouched, you want to find this metal piece right here sticking out and then this vent. So you're gonna aim in between the vent and this metal piece on the left side of the metal piece. So right here, and you're just gonna left click. And there you go, there's a smoke for checkers. And then if you wanna smoke B main, you can just literally bounce it off like that. And there you go. Retake smokes for B. Alright guys, that's all the smokes I wanted to show on the new cache. Um, but I thought while we're here, I might as well show you guys how to make a jump throw bind as well as this practice uh, config I was talking about. I do have a video that goes in depth on the practice config. So if you guys don't understand from my explanation now, you guys can follow the link in the description below to watch my video that I made specifically dedicated to that video. So let's start with the jump throw bind. So this is my jump throw bind. This is just the standard jump throw bind that I feel like most players use. Um, all it does is makes it so that when you hit a key, it will automatically jump and then throw your nade at the peak of your jump. Uh, this is super important for having consistent uh, smokes and because just doing it manually is not consistent. So I always recommend having a jump throw bind if you are doing a smoke that requires a jump throw. Um, all you guys need to change is, again, this will also be in the, in the description, but all you guys need to change is this right here. So I have it bound to T. And if you guys don't like that key, you guys can just change it to whatever is comfortable for you. So yeah, just copy paste this into your auto exec. Um, that's where you want to put it is inside your auto exec. And if you guys don't know how to make an auto exec, there's tons of tutorials out there on YouTube and Google or whatever. So you can just follow one of those, but put this in your auto exec and then change this key to whatever is more comfortable for you. All right, second is the practice config. Um, if you guys don't know where to put this, how to make one of these, again, I have a video explaining all of that, but these are all the commands. Um, if you guys want a download for this file specifically, um, it is in the other video that I made, which will again be linked. Um, so you guys can go to that video and download it from there. So this basically just makes it so that you have infinite money, infinite time, 
or well not infinite time but like an hour which is quite a while um it kicks all the bots and it gives you unlimited ammo shows you your grenade trajectories shows you your bullet impacts um so it's very very useful for practicing your grenades in an offline server and uh yeah just overall very nice so yeah that's pretty much it guys i hope this video helped you out and i hope you learned something new um and yeah that's pretty much it i will see you guys in the next video peace out Thank <laughs>